Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. I am doing a foundation tutorial today. I am doing the Dream Velvet by Maybelline New York. This is in color 40 nude. It is a soft matte hydrating foundation. That's what it says. Also, if you guys are wondering what this foundation looks like, I'm gonna actually cover half of my face. You, could, you guys can see how many freckles I actually have, how much redness is in my skin, and see if this actually covers well or not. Okay guys, so this is what the foundation looks like. Look, it's actually super, super thick. You see that? It doesn't even budge when I do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this small confetti blender. This looks like more of a traditional shaped blender. When I say traditional shaped, I mean like same shape. Okay, let's go ahead and see, does it cover? Now, just using this tiny, tiny beauty blender, I do have to say that yes, this is for like touch-ups because this is so tiny. I've been in one area for about 20 seconds and it normally takes me five to be in one area. But this beauty blender is actually very, very squishy. So what do you guys think so far? I mean, you guys see that I took it right in the area where I have my freckles. You can still see a little bit of my freckles. It is like, it's funny. So it's not like, it says, a so yeah, there you go. It says soft matte. I was going to say, it's not like a really harsh matte. Um, it is matte, but it has like that softness to the skin. As you can see, it almost looks like I'm dewy, but I'm not dewy. Does it feel heavy? Not at all. It feels a very, very lightweight. Like I don't have anything on my skin. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup here and tell you guys, let you, sh let you see what it looks like and then check in throughout the day. Okay guys, I thought I would turn the camera over and show you what the finished makeup look looks like. I will check in later on today and tell you guys what I think. But I think the finish is just so pretty. It's so, it's so lightweight. And like, it's not, it's not like some mattifying foundations can feel drying. This doesn't feel drying at all. It just feels like I have, uh, it actually feels like I don't have anything on the face, which is kind of nice. But whether it lasts or not, I don't know. I will see you guys in a second. Oh, and before we get to those check-ins, could you please hit that subscribe button, that tiny little bell next to it, and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys, in a bit. So this is a little over four hours later. Um, you can, I don't know if you can tell, like my nose has become, well, that's too much light. My nose has become very, very shiny. Um, everything else looks like it's in place, but I'm going to take you to the restroom right now with me. I'm going to try my one Scott toilet paper um, and press it down and see if it resets or if it actually removes. Okay, guys, so you can see how oily my skin is, especially my nose area. So I am in the restroom and I got the Scott one ply toilet paper. You always want to use a one ply toilet paper if possible when uh, blotting your makeup. So let's go ahead and take it on the forehead here. I know this nose more so you guys want to see. Look at this. Let's cross our fingers. So I'm not, I'm just pressing down. Wow, that's huge. Look at that. But I am seeing makeup transfer. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of makeup transfer. So let me just go ahead and finish patting down. You can see like, you can see a little bit of redness right there in my nose, right here. So it didn't remove all of it, but it did remove some of it. It did pat down, like I said, once again, to a powdery finish. There is all the oil on my face, which you saw how much oil I did produce today. But so far, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's not absolutely fantastic, but it's pretty good. And the, the finish looks really nice still. So I'll check back in with the with you guys in a few okay, more. Okay, guys. Hours. So it's been eight hours later. I'm gonna get my one ply Scott one ply toilet paper and let's do it again. You guys can see I'm like super oily again. Eight hours though. I kind of did rub my nose just once and then I was like, oh shoot, can't do that. So let's see. I didn't rub it. I just kind of like something was on my nose and I kind of patted it off. So it looks like the majority came, let me, let me look in the mirror real quick. I'm gonna say even though the majority of it came off on my nose, I still have some on my nose because you're not seeing a lot of red. I still have a, I have a light weight foundation in my nose now. But look at that, what do you guys think? Like, I mean, you can see the red here from earlier, but so 
it does gradually come up off the nose little by little. There are some foundations obviously out there like the All May TLC, which is one of my favorite foundations that literally like when I get oily, pat it back down with my one ply toilet paper, it does not come off. It just resets. Now this one's set, but it's obviously taking off a little foundation. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you could please um, push that subscribe button and that tiny little bell next to it and give this video a thumbs up. I am Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.